welcome back to the Chew Crew. And today I am back with more Champions League predictions, and I'm going to be predicting Barcelona versus PSG and Atletico Madrid versus Dortmund. So I would, I think I should know these matchups. I hope. I think I'm predicting that Barcelona and PSG maybe have tied, oh, and Atletico beat Dortmund. So, Dad, what is the aggregate for Barcelona versus PSG? Currently, Barcelona is up three two. No surprise. Um, no, there's no surprise on that, but they both are pretty good teams, so I thought it maybe it'd be a tie, but I'm kind of not surprised in this meantime as well. So, now let's get into this. So, Nathan, so tell us about Barcelona. Okay, like always, I have my information collected. So, their tiki-taka approach involves short one-touch passes to main control. Everyone knows their tiki-taka formation, so I would believe that that PSG needs to have a fast defender to stop the one-touch passes from happening because if they just don't have a good defender to stop the one-touch, they'll just keep passing and passing until they make it to their end, and then, bam, that's when the goal happens. So now let's head to the key injuries is Balde, which is not good because that's their backup left back, so they're going to have their third choice left back. But that is all the evidence I will have in Barcelona today. So, Nathan, tell us about PSG. Okay, play style. PSG's central focus leads to high levels of connection through the middle. That's good that they have connection through the middle, but they also need to have connections when they're playing in the back and on the wings of the field. They can't just have connections in the middle because if they have connections in the middle, what about the wings and back and the attacking place and stuff? So their injuries says no evidence. So I guess PSG will have a healthy team for Bar versus Barcelona, which will be pretty good, I would say. So that is my evidence about PSG. And what is your prediction? Even though PSG has a full team of healthy players and they're fine, I would say that Barcelona will still manage to defeat PSG. And I second motion that. And I believe that Barcelona is a much stronger team. And regardless of injuries, they do have a lot of players that will come off the bench and take over. Yes, because they know they do have a lot of really good players that can walk on the bench and hop on the field. Okay, so now, Dad, what is the aggregate for Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid? It's Atletico Madrid leading 2-1. Oh, wow. I thought it would be maybe a bit of a higher lead for it. Let's see, maybe about 3-1, I would say. But, so, but now let's get into this. Okay, tell us about Dortmund. Okay, they play so. Building out from the back in a 3-plus-1 shape, un unitalizing the 6 to drop in between or to the left of the center backs. Okay, that is a decent play style. But they need to make sure they drop on the center backs. That's the center back. They need to make sure they also have drop it into the right of the center back because they can't just do that on the left on the side for them. But let's see Dortmund's injuries. No evidence. They're gonna also have a healthy team ready for this match. So that is the evidence about Dortmund. Okay, now tell us about Atletico Madrid. Okay, counterattacking football and dodge defensive block. Counterattacking is normal, and it's pretty good to at least have that in your front, in your thing because if you need to tell them that, that's when Madrid, that's when Atleti will just, just zoom by and attack. And dodge defensive block is really good because you dodge it, but at a def but at also a defensive defensive block could also be key to a team. And Atleti has Depay injured their one of their best strikers that is there. So that is the evidence about Atletico Madrid. And what is your prediction between the two teams? I think we already know this one. It should be, I think, Atletico Madrid. I 100% agree. Yeah, because Dortmund is a bit of a smaller team than Atleti. They're still good, but Atleti is way bigger than them. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to never miss a video like this. And that is a goodbye from the Chew Crew.